Why only 28 days in February? The reason can be traced back to ancient Rome. In the 8th century BC, the Romans used the calendar of Romulus, a 10-month calendar that kicked the year off in March with the spring equinox, and ended in December. January and February didn't even exist. The calendar year was only 304 days long. Back then, winter was a nameless, monthless period that no one cared for. The calendar was primarily used as a timetable for planting and harvesting agriculture. To farmers, winter wasn't worth counting. So for 61 days out of the year, Romans could ask, What month is it? And you could correctly answer, None! King Numa Pompilius thought that was stupid. Why have a calendar if you're going to neglect one-sixth of the year? So in 713 BC, he lined the calendar up with the year's 12 lunar cycles, a span of about 355 days, and introduced January and February. The months were added to the end of the calendar, making February the last month of the year. However, the Romans were highly superstitious. They believed even numbers were unlucky and invited attacks from evil spirits. So Numa tried to make each month odd. But to reach the quota of 355, one month had to be even. February ended up pulling the short stick, probably because it was simply the last month on the list. Of course, a 355-day calendar had its bugs. After a few years went by, the seasons and months would fall out of sync. Summer would arrive in October, and winter would end up in June. So to keep things straight, the Romans would occasionally insert a 27-day leap month called Mercedonius. The Romans would erase the last couple days of February and start the leap month on February 24, further evidence that no one ever cared much for February. This caused headaches everywhere. The leap month was inconsistent, mainly because Rome's high priests determined when it would arrive. Not only did they insert Mercedonius randomly, but the priests, being politicians, abused the power, using it to extend the terms of friends and trim the terms of enemies. By Julius Caesar's time, the Roman people had no clue what day it was. So Caesar looked back to the solar calendar of the Egyptians to reform his calendar. To get Rome back on track, the year 46 BC had to be 445 days long. Caesar aligned the calendar with the sun and added a few days so that everything added up to 365. February, which by now is at the top of the calendar, kept its 28 days. However, it takes 365.24 days for the Earth to make a complete rotation around the sun. That extra 0.24 days adds up to just about one full day every four years. So once every four years, February gets an extra 29th day, also known as leap year day. But 0.24 times 4 doesn't quite make a full day. So to make sure that we don't get ahead of ourselves, once every 100 years, we skip leap year day. So these are the origins of our chaotic calendar. It may not be pretty, but it does seem to work now. Tell us your thoughts about the calendar system, and please be sure to subscribe for more interesting animations.